Hello children and welcome to another story time. So today we are meeting a really special dog because this dog is a doctor. Dr. Dog by Babette Cole. This is the Gumboyle family and this is their dog. He is a doctor. Dr. Dog went to a conference in Brazil to give a talk about bone marrow. While he was away, Grandad and the Gumboyle children got ill. We'd better get him back, said Ma Gumboyle. So they sent a tele-message to Brazil. We are all ill. Come home. Love Gumboyles. And Dr Dog came home. Kurt Gumboyle had been secretly smoking in the bicycle shed and he had a wicked cough. <coughs> it's not good to smoke, said Dr Dog. These spongy things inside our chests are called lungs. They are our breathing machines. Smoking fills them up with dirty tar. Then they don't work properly and so we cough. <coughs> Gertie Gumboyle had not been wearing her raincoat and hat. She caught a cold and got a sore throat. The germs attacked her tonsils. She's got tonsillitis, said Dr Dog. I will have to operate. So he took them out. Kev Gumboil was scratching his head like mad. He's got nits, said Dr Dog. These are eggs laid by little insects called lice. This is one. They live in your hair. He plastered Kev's hair with smelly shampoo to kill the lice and Kev had to wear it all day at school. Never swap combs and brushes with anyone, said Dr Dog. Baby Gumboil did not wash his hands after going to the toilet. Then he sucked his thumb and he let other children stick their fingers up his nose. So, he got tummy ache. He's caught worms, said Dr. Dog. They are breeding in his tubes. The worms wriggle inside you until they reach your bottom. There, they lay itchy little eggs. If you scratch your bum, the eggs go under your fingernails. Sucking your thumb makes the eggs go back into your tummy, where they hatch into more worms again. Never scratch your bum and suck your thumb, said Dr. Dog. Fiona Gumboyle felt dizzy. It's all those cartwheels she's been turning, laughed her parents. Rubbish, growled Dr. Dog. She's got earache. There are tiny bones inside our ears that help us balance. Earache can affect these and make us dizzy. Dr. Dog gave her some pills. Grandad had been eating too many baked beans and drinking too much beer. He's got terrible wind, said Dr. Dog. Here's a picture of your inside tubes. Beer and baked beans make gases in your tummy. The only way they can escape is to blast out of your bottom. It's disgusting. Dr. Dog told Ma and Pa Gumboil, if you don't take better care of your family, there will be a serious accident. So what? said the Gumboils. We've got you to look after us, haven't we? Meanwhile, Grandad's dangerous gases were building up. And he farted so hard, he blew the roof right off the house. Told you so, said Dr. Dog. Once the roof had been put back and he had made everyone better, Dr. Dog felt ill himself. You're suffering from stress, Dog, said his doctor. What you need is a holiday away from that pesky family. Ah, just what the doctor ordered, said Dr. Dog. They'll never find me here. Oh no, said Dr. Dog. Need holiday to recover from accident. We're joining you soon. Love, Gumboils. Cooey!
or children. (laughs) Did you like that book? I hope that you haven't got any of those illnesses. And even if you don't have a doctor dog in your family, I'm sure your mummy and daddy will be much better than Ma and Pa Gumboyle. Now, do you remember some of the things in the book? Let's see how well you listened. So listen to the question and then you can go back and watch the story again. When Gertie Gumboyle got a cold, what did Dr. Dog have to take out? And do you remember what Grandad had been eating to make him (laughs) fill up with gases? So let's see if you got it right. Gertie Gumboyle had to have her tonsils removed. And Grandad Gumboyle had been eating beans and beer. (laughs) Hopefully you won't have that for dinner. Something yummy and not gassy. So children, I'll see you next time for another story time. Take care. Bye.